Okay, pet parents, hopefully I'm right on assuming this, but I'm going to assume this comment's referring to a condition called immune-mediated thrombocytopenia, which is going to be very similar to a condition called immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, so let's talk about it. Now, thrombocytopenia just means there's a low number of platelets, so this condition means that for some reason the immune system has gone haywire and is attacking and destroying the platelets. So what the hell are the platelets? Well, the platelets are the little cells in our body that are responsible for forming blood clots. Why are the platelets here? Oh, my ears! Look out! What was that you said they're called platelets? That's right. And if there's a low number of them, eventually pets will start spontaneously bleeding. Now, just like IMHA, ITP can be primary, meaning we don't know why it's happening. What's the name for 911? or it can be secondary to a whole bunch of other causes. Now, primary ITP is gonna be far more common than secondary. The danger of this condition is if the pet can't form blood clots, they will eventually start bleeding out, and clinical signs of this condition are often related to bleeding in one way or another. There are three very important things you need to look out for in your pet that may indicate this condition is present. One of them is called petechiation, which are tiny little red dots. The other one's ecchymosis, which are bigger red dots, and then random bruising. And it all looks like this. If you see stuff like this in your pet, please bring them in immediately. We treat this condition with medications that stop the immune system from doing its job, and in some cases we can also use dialysis to treat this condition as well. Where this disease becomes problematic and sometimes fatal is the fact that most of the time we're going to catch this disease because the pet has already started to bleed and it takes time for the medications to work if they're going to work at all. It's not uncommon for pets to need at least one transfusion, but most of them need more than one transfusion while we're waiting for the medications to work. And they either pass away from a complication of the transfusions, a complication of the disease, or the disease itself just gets too expensive for the owners to treat.